What's up, YouTube? This is Bison X79. Guys, today I'm coming to you with my latest tech profile video for February 2020. And as you can see today, we're going to be doing my Black Wing deck profile. Now, I'm very excited, um, especially since the revision is about a month away. Um, and Secret Decks, they're literally getting ready to make a major comeback. Um, Black Wings, one of the best synchro spam decks there is. You can easily get on multiple synchro monsters. Even underneath the current link rules, the deck can still do a whole lot of things. And it's just so worth it utilizing this deck. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to get right into this. We're going to start off with two copies of Black Wing Oster the South Winds. Alright, whenever Oster is, normal summon you could basically. Target one of your face-up Black Wing monsters that are banished. Bring it back in defense position. And from there, sync her off with Auster since it's a level 4 tuner. Or you can even go into Xyz plays or Link plays. So, it's a great card to have. While this card's in the graveyard, you can banish it. And you can do some pretty cute things with some Black Feather counters. Add them to a Black Wing Dragon. Or you can add, put Black Feather counters on any of your opponent's monsters that don't have them. And that can actually help up um, set up full armor master plays. Alright. Now the reason why black wings are so awesome with the spam is because you can get so many monsters on the field um, during a turn. Bore the spear is one of the OG black wings that you basically can get on the field as long as you control another black wing that has a different name. Alright. If you have multiple copies in your, in your hand and another black wing monster that's on the field, you basically can bring them all out at once. So amazing. It can inflate your Inflict piercing damage if it attacks a monster in defense position. Um, can happen at times, and I can tell you right now, so worth it. The other monster that's very similar to Blackwing, Board of Spear, is Blackwing Gale, the Whirlwind. Same situation as Board of Spear when special summoning it. Um, the only difference is that its effect allows you to target one of your opponent's monsters and cut its attack in half, allowing your Blackwings to swing over with greater ease. All right, we have Blackwing Gladius, the Midnight Sun. All right, pretty cool card. Again, it, unlike Gladi, I mean, unlike Gale or Bora, Gladius can only be specialed out once per turn. Um, that's kind of the, a new restriction they put on a lot of the newer Blackwings. But regardless of that, while it's on the field, you can utilize it for Synchro Link um, fodder. Keeping it in defense position, it can't be destroyed by battle once, so that's actually pretty good. You can stall out your opponent easily. And then, of course, we got three copies of Blackwing Chris the Crack of Dawn. Chris can't be destroyed by the effects of spell or trap cards, which is actually awesome. Um, same thing with Gladius. Can only special summon one per turn, but still, it's a level 4 1900 attack point monster. And typically, you, if you bring it out as a special summon, that's pretty cool. But you want to be normal summoning this with Black Whirlwind up, because you basically can search out any of your other Blackwings at that point. All right. Blackwing, Harmatin, the Dust. Harmatin is actually very awesome in this deck. Um, its effect allows you to turn around and target another Blackwing monster and add its level to its own. Um, with that, you can actually turn around and modify its levels to go into bigger synchro monsters a lot more easy. Alright? Also, special summon is like Chris and Gladius, so it's a free buy on the board to do whatever you need to. Alright? Oroshi the Squall. Same special summoning as a lot of the newer uh, Black Wings. When this guy leaves the field for a synchro summon, you can target one of your opponent's monsters, flip it face down in defense position, which is awesome. And since it's a level 1, you can easily start extending up the ladder into higher level synchros, um, using level 7s to go into level 8s, or even level 6s to go into level 7s. Alright, so it's a great extended card, nonetheless. Blackwing Samoon the Poison Wind. Oh, this is the guy you want to be seeing in your opening hand. All right, primary reason why is basically as long as you have this card and another Blackwing monster on the field, you can actually be able to banish that other Blackwing, activate a Black Whirlwind right from your deck to your field, which is awesome, and then you get to normal summon this guy off of his effect. And because you're summoning off of his effect, you still get your once per turn normal summon for your turn, which is you. Just two normal summons. Pretty much for free, and you'll be able to get multiple searches off of one block, 
Black Whirlwind. Now, if you open up this guy with another Black Whirlwind, you're going to be getting even more searches and be able to go off even further. That's why this guy is so um, amazing. Um, you do take effect damage of a thousand points the turn you use his effect, but hey, listen, it's worth it. Alright, last Blackwing is Blackwing Zephyros the Elite. Great normal summon, um, but he's even better in the graveyard because he bounces a card off your field, back to your hand, or your extra deck if you need to, the special summon itself so you can continue to extend um, utilizing his body and presence on the board. You can only use his effect once per duel, but hey, worth it. Alright, and then to round out the monster lineup, three copies of Ash Blossom Joy Spring. It's pretty standard in all decks right now. Self explanatory of what she does. All right. Next, we got three copies of Allure of Darkness. It's a natural fit in Blackwing decks, considering that the majority of the monsters in this deck all dark. All right. And of course, three copies of Black Whirlwind. Oh man, this card just does so much work. Searching out the monsters you need to help extend your plays and just basically build your boards to crush your opponents. All right. And of course, this deck does kind of fall hard to hand traps, so you want to have three copies of uh, Call by the Grave. Great card to stop hand traps, but it's also even a better defensive card by banishing monsters out of the graveyard. Your opponent will be able to activate similar monsters' effects for the turn, and that can really hurt your opponent. Monster Reborn, swipe monsters um, from either player's graveyard, get them on the field, extend. Pretty still, pretty good. Pot of Arbors, one of the best cards that came off the ban list last list. And I can tell you right now, in Synchro Center decks, this card is just huge, allowing you to recycle a lot of your monsters back into your deck to get a plus one. Always worth it. Rocket Key helps with the board wipes. Gonna need it. And of course, extra draw power, Upstart Garbage, makes it a quote unquote third or nine card deck. But hey, um, don't worry about the thousand life points you're giving your opponent. Um, you're gonna pretty much get through that one. Very easily. Alright, for some back row. Three copies of Infinite Impermanence. I mean, very good schooling second card. Just to block monster effects when you have no monsters in the field. Keep it on, set it on the field, and you could block um, cards there in the same column of it. So it is worth having in this deck. And then, of course, the Master and the Gate Trap card. Everybody should be running three of it right now. It is Solemn Judgment. Block summon, block spells, block traps for half your life points. Always good in any situation. Definitely something worth having in your decks. Alright, that's it for the main deck. Extra deck. Two copies of Blackwing Full Armor Master. Oh, Armor Master is so much a great boss monster for this deck. Completely and totally unaffected by other card effects. Whether it be your own or your opponent's. Um, whenever your opponent's monsters activate a monster effect, after resolution, you can put a Black Feather counter on them, and then our Full Armor Master can actually then take control of monsters your opponent has with Black Feather counters on them, adding more resources to your side of the field, either Link Off or Synchro or Exceeds with, or, and this is one of the better ones, you can basically destroy all your, the monsters on the field with Black Feather counters on them, and it just hurts your opponent so bad. Alright. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Definitely a card that I love to have. Um, with Orochi in the deck being able to step up into um, Synchro Dragon here, just by using any of the other level 7s, is just huge. The Monster Negates um, adds a whole nother level to this deck. And if you battle a monster that's level 5 or over, <laughs> oh, this guy adds that monster's attack to itself and basically allows you to swing over that monster and hit your opponent hard. Alright. Then you have Dragon Berz or Draco Berserker of the Tenny. Oh, this guy came out in Chaos Impact, and I can tell you this right now, it's definitely impactful in a lot of Synchro Center decks. Whenever your opponent activates a monster effect, you're just banishing that monster straight out. Alright, so it doesn't negate the effects. But it does get rid of the monster, and that can actually help. Um, slow down your opponent with extending. They'll probably still get the effect, but hey, you're getting that monster off the field and out of their um, reach. Alright, now that, but this card attacks and destroys one of your opponent's monsters by battle. It adds that monster's attack to its own and it gets another attack on top of it. 
so huge um, and so critical in today's game when you can actually just spam out a lot of monsters. Having those extra monster attacks does help. And the power boost, definitely worth it. All right. I actually am running the Assault Blackwing Brothers, as I call them. You got Chidori and you got Raikiri, the Rain Shower. Chidori gets power boosted by 300 attack points for every Blackwing that's in your graveyard. And you can actually get this guy up over um, 4,000 pretty easy and pretty quickly. All right. Also has the ability to turn around and resurrect any wing beast synchro monster that's in your graveyard back onto the field when it, when it goes to the gra grave itself when it's destroyed by card effect or battle. Right here, on the other hand, if you have multiple black wings on the field besides itself, you can have to destroy cards on your opponent's side of the field equal to those number of other black wings, which is actually pretty damn awesome. Um, getting a, a little extra control and an extra power boost does help this deck um, in the long run. All right. We got Blackwing Tamer Hawk Joe. All right. Hawk Joe is huge. It can redirect attacks into other monsters as well as resurrect monster wing beast monsters from your graveyard. Wing beast secret monsters from your graveyard back to your field, excuse me. All right. Um using this card in conjunction with Chidori um, basically, if Chidori is sent to the graveyard while he's there, he comes back out and he can use his effect to bring out back Chidori. And if you have a lot of black wings in your graveyard, <laughs> Chidori gets power boosted, so your opponent's still dealing with a lot of different monsters. Um, that can be very problematic for them. Alright. One copy of Cyber's Quantum Dragon. Cyber's Quantum Dragon is actually very awesome, especially when it comes to brick and boards. Whenever this card attacks your opponent's monster, you can actually bounce that card off the field back to your opponent's hand, which is huge. And if you do that, this card gets an additional effect, so or actually an additional attack, excuse me, to basically hit another one of your opponent's monsters, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, loving this card so much in this deck. All right, we got Blackwing. Nothing to Starlight. Nothing to Starlight is another great card. Summon this card out, you hit your opponent with 800 points of effect damage, which is pretty damn awesome, especially if you use Upstart Goblin somewhere um, before it comes out. Um, but the really awesome thing is while this guy is face up on the field, you get an additional normal summon of a Blackwing monster. And with multiple Blackwing ones on the field, that's multiple searches of cards to get into your hand. So critical to have in this deck. All right. Xyz Monsters, Ray Raptor, Four Strix, and of course Abyssal. Abyssal is pretty self explanatory. Pistach Graveyard Effects, Four Strix, um, Detached a Material, Search your deck for another Black Wing. Hey, listen, another additional search, always worth it. All right. For the Lynx, one copy of Wee Witch's Apprentice. Um, I only run one copy of her, um, primarily because one's really all I really need. Um, power boost all dark attribute monsters by 500 reduces the attack power of light attribute monsters by the same amount. When a card is destroyed by battle of card effects into the graveyard, you gain a dark attribute monster back from the graveyard. So it is worth having in this deck. Um, the other link to right now, I have IP Mascarena. I mean, she's very awesome. Um, allows you to link summon on your opponent's turn, which in the current format rules does help out, especially with the other two link monsters I have, um, to show you yet. Um, and she also makes them immune to your opponent's card effects, which is actually pretty awesome as well. All right. And the other two monsters we have, we have Top Legend of Trisbania, Trisbania, excuse me. Trisbania is actually awesome because it's basically back row removal, and I have it in my extra deck primarily to deal with those back row heavy decks like Altergeist, Archer Draco, um, maybe even Domain Monarchs. Um, with Masquerina's ability, yeah, it does actually be a little bit better. Um, just being able to wipe out your op opponent's back or hit them with effect damage at the same time. So, awesome. And the last one, Borosso Dragon. I mean, what can I say? Borosso, you could get into Borosso pretty easily and then basically go in and swing for the kill um, with an OTK plan. And both of those effects are just amazing. Double attack, being able to cut your opponent's attack in half as well. The power up itself. It's just too good not to have in this deck. Definitely something you need to have. All right, guys. 
that is it for my Blackwing deck profile for February 2020, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, as always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like, like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box below. Find the invite link to my Discord server. Join a conversation. We'll love to have you. Follow me on social media. The links are down below. And if you want to help support the channel, use the T my TCG Player affiliate link and good health when shopping on TCGPlayer.com. All right, guys. Until next time, as always, peace.